In recent versions of Windows, the lock screen has become overloaded with crap. There are advertisements, there are links, there are widgets. Wouldn't it be nice if you could just get your simple, plain old lock screen with a beautiful photo and the login box? Wouldn't it be nice if you could get that back? Well, you can, in just a few simple clicks. Hi and welcome back to Scotty's Tech Out Info. I'm Scotty with my co-host Cletus the Tribble. So what's with the lock screen in Windows? You've got your beautiful wallpaper, you've got the clock and the date, that's kind of nice. And then you got these these URLs here. Oh, do you like the image? Oh, black sand dunes, wash, blah, blah, blah. oh, click here, click here. Then there's another sort of link that is right in the middle of the lock screen, which is particularly annoying because by default, say when you reboot your computer, the mouse cursor defaults to the very center of the screen. So many people don't realize this and they click the mouse button to get the login box. And when you do, that means after you're done logging in, it will open up Microsoft Edge and load whatever URL that link goes to. So that's particularly annoying that they put this one right smack in the center of the screen. And then of course at the bottom you have these widgets. Oh, the weather and markets and traffic near you, stuff that you didn't ask for and you didn't put there. And finally, you can also have notifications popping up on the lock screen, which is like, oh, for crying out loud. So how do we make it all go away? Okay, what you need to do is click the start logo and then open settings. You can also just type WinI if you watch some of my other recent videos. Then you're going to come over here on the left and click personalization. Scroll down and click lock screen. And okay, here you go. Most likely you will have Windows Spotlight. And what that is, is this handy little thing that downloads a bunch of pretty images. It also gives you all those silly links on the screen. And um, I do not recommend using Windows Spotlight because in rare instances, Spotlight actually slows the computer down to a crawl when booting. I've had this happen a couple of times on computers I manage and turning it off made the boot time way, way faster. So the better option is to pick slideshow and then you can add a folder. You see I've added the folder Spotbrite, which has a whole bunch of pretty images. Pick whatever folder you want and it will show a slideshow of your own images. Then you're going to click unclick get fun facts, tips, tricks, and more on your lock screen because we don't want any nonsense. Uh, I uncheck include camera roll, camera roll, only use pictures of it my screen, who cares. Play a slideshow and using battery power, yes. When my PC is inactive, show the lock screen instead of turning off the screen. And then I set this to 30 minutes for turn off the screen, blah, blah, blah. And then finally down here, lock screen status, weather and more, I want none. I don't want anything. And finally, show the lock screen background picture on the sign-in screen, yes. So if you do all that, then you're going to be good to go. that will eliminate most things. But we have one more little problem, and that is the notifications. So we come up here to the search and type notifications, except I mistyped it, so notifications. Notifications and actions. You want to expand the notifications thing, and you'll notice this box here, show notifications on the lock screen. Yeah, you don't want that. Do not show any notifications on the lock screen, whether they're you know, grayed out or not, there's just no point. And that's it. You're done. Now your lock screen will be pristine, clean, and beautiful. And better yet, you get to show a slideshow of whatever images you want, which is nice. For more techie tips, see Scotty's Tech.info. You can also subscribe to me on Substack or links in the description if you'd like to make a donation to support my channel for both Stripe and PayPal. Thank you very much to all my donors. See you next time.